everybody on this side. Alright, All right, so it's uh, we just clocked in after lunch on July 23rd, 2008. There's a funny smell coming from the corner of the building, a little bit of haze. So here's Gwinnett's finest coming through to take care of business. The employees here at Barrow are very distraught, as you can tell. There's a, there's a weird vibration going on here. I think maybe, just maybe, the perpetrator might be one of these people. Hey, Albert. Did you start this blaze? <laughs> hey, let me get a picture of you taking one. <laughs> Take that as a no, but that's a good cover up. A good cover up. Okay, we're gonna have to start that over. Okay. Bobby, do you mind if I get a candid interview with you on the recent events here at Barrow? It seems like there's a fire inside. What do you know about what's going on, sir? Well, like I said earlier before. Uh. <laughs> I can't do an interview. Okay. Are you, funny. are you sure? You can't do an interview? Yeah. Well, what's taking place here? Okay. Uh, Thank you. You're a good sport, Bobby. This is Dan the man. Danny, did you start this place? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna say that I didn't. That's from the source, folks. <laughs> from the source. <laughs> this is the biggest thing that's happened to Barrow in 25 years. Yes, sir. What do you have to say about today's events? Well, man, I don't know. All I know is that it smelled like plastic burning or something, and uh, we were told to leave the building. There was a haze, too. Yes, yeah, there was like somebody had been smoking a cigarette or something in the building, which we can't do, so, you know, we knew it was a problem. Who could this be? I'm, a, I'm thinking it was Chantel. Yeah, man. That's a possibility. Smoking smoke. in the men's room. Yeah. I'm trying to take a peek. Yeah. Dang. Ladies and gentlemen, that was D. 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 <laughs> How you boys doing? Fucked up some shit. Came back trying to fix it. Eric, did you start this? No, man. I think it was terrorism, though. There's the troops suiting up, getting ready to go into battle. No flames are visible at this point. Um, we're banking on it, though. <laughs> Matt, Matt Hilliard's doing interviews. <laughs> It yeah, you need to do this guy. He, he found it all. Yeah. It startled me Talk to first, this man. But, but I handled it. Are you shaking up right now? A little. A little. It's hard to gather words to describe uh, the event that just passed inside. I mean, the look on everybody's face. That's the face of pain. That's the face of glory. I think it's funny that... About once a month they test the alarm in this building and they say don't worry about the alarms, it's just a test. But then when we actually have a fire, the alarms don't work and now we're standing in the parking lot. Hey man, it's my birthday. You want to know how we uh, react to Barrow burning down? <laughs> we, this is Anthony. Anthony's the man. Anthony, did you start this blaze? No, I didn't. I'm going to be the only one viewing this. It's okay. Oh, okay. No, no, I did not. Uh, okay. Okay. I got a pretty good suspicion. Who did? I think it's I think it's pretty funny how it started near your area. Yeah, I know. Right in the me and bathroom. Yeah. yeah that's right in, right where your table is, Anthony. Oh, hey. You put it... I think it's going to be a shiver. It'd be, it'd be somebody that was disgruntled about not being able to get that copy paper. So they set it on fire. No. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, Aura left and then this thing happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got to blame the person who wasn't yeah, here, Aura. Yeah. How did you know the lady when the fire started? Because <laughs> she knew. Yeah. She's in the... <laughs> <laughs> The triumphant return of the VP. You ain't seen nothing like him before. And you never will. What? 
Ladies and gentlemen, a closing statement from Weird Alberta. Fuck you for accusing me in the first place. <laughs>